One of the things we've always tried to do at Pixar is to look at our world, the world we're familiar with, in an unfamiliar way. With Toy Story, it's your bedroom, but seen from five inches above the floor. Bugs Life, it's more like an inch and a half. We're basically trying to present the world that we all know in a way you've never really seen it before. The story of Up is about this old man who had made a promise to his wife that they would together live this life of adventure. And he worries that he never delivered that promise. <laughs> so long, boys! And so what he does is, being a balloon man, which is what he did all his life, he takes thousands of balloons, ties them into his fireplace, and lifts his house off. Goes off on an adventure. And at the door, it's this wilderness explorer. Hi, Mr. Fredrickson. And he ends up along on the journey. How much longer? Well, we're up pretty. <gasps> to a completely fantastic, weird place that I didn't even know existed before we started this movie. At Pixar, we like to do our research. So when we hit on this very remote place in South America, we knew we had to go there. It took us three days just to get there because you take an airplane to another airplane, a Jeep ride, a helicopter ride, another Jeep ride, and then trek out away. It was pretty wild. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when we first saw it. There are these 90 degree sheer cliff walls a mile high out of the jungle. It was socked in by fog with these strange rock shapes. As you look over you, oh look, it's a turtle. Hello, sir. Then it's just a rock. Hey. <laughs> you were talking to a rock. You really do feel like you're on another planet when you're up there, which contains plants and animals that just don't exist elsewhere. It's, it's otherworldly. <laughs> we took thousands of pictures. We did sketches. Just anything we could do to help ourselves remember the feeling and try as much as we could to capture it in the film itself. Up is an action adventure built on a base of emotional storytelling. Don't worry, Harry. I got it. The thing that really sparked in us was this lost world in Venezuela. It felt a lot like our main character. Completely removed from the rest of the world, this place felt like the perfect setting for this story. 